FreedomMunitions.com, your online ammunition destination presents The High Road with Keith Warren. We hunt for different reasons, but it's more than just the kill. First off, I'm grateful to be an American, to live in a country that still has a country like this. It's about the experience, freedom, passion, and adventure. I'm Keith Warren, and like you, I live for the hunt. Now it's time for Gear Care, brought to you by the Lucas Oil Outdoor Line. One of the questions people ask me all the time is, is there one particular product that they can purchase for using for cleaning and lubricating the firearm, regardless whether it's an AR or handgun or shotgun? What would your answer be? That's too easy. <laughs> Life's not easy. <laughs> All these firearms that you see here have different needs. They're all similar, but they're all different. Right. So I have different lubricants and cleaning for procedures for each one of these. So that's what I'm looking for. So a great piece of advice would be just like somebody does research, making sure they're purchasing the right firearm for whatever their needs are. I think you need to do the right research to make sure that you're purchasing the right lubricant and solvents for whatever your needs are. And Lucas Oil Outdoor Line makes a product uh, for all your firearm needs. For more information on the Lucas Oil Outdoor Line, visit our website and join us on Facebook for more gear care tips. It's been a few weeks since we were chasing whitetails in Oklahoma with our friends at No Mercy Hunting. Now, it's early December and we're loading up and flying to Abbeville, Georgia with our friends from Gumlog Plantation. Gumlog has sent their private plane to pick me up and they say they've got a special hunt for me. I'll be meeting up with my friend Brad Steele and Gumlog's head guide, Bland Williams as we target deer, as well as we do our part with the ever-growing hog population. Woo, it's cold. And we are at the uh, airport here in New Braunfels. It's a little uh, small airport, and we're fixing to catch a flight to Georgia right now. You haven't lost weight. You're like me. <laughs> Everybody, we're going to have a good time. We're heading out to Gumlog Plantation. We're going to go see if we can uh, find a deer and a hog or two. So, this is Brad. This is Bland. And this is George. More and more I get to know Keith, he's beginning to be pretty predictable. One thing you will never see Keith leave home without. All right. And the last thing and most important thing to take off the plane. One thing is always certain when you're hunting with Keith Warren. Gosh, it wouldn't be a trip if it wasn't Keith bringing Tannerite. Uh, Bland, I wonder if Bland has repaired the post from the last time you sighted in your rifle. I don't know, but we'll have a lot of fun, I promise you that. <laughs> you're gonna be shooting some Tannerite at some point on the trip. sat down to sight our rifles in today and, and shoot some Tannerite. Keith noticed two or three things that I was doing wrong and he was able to very quickly make corrections that gave me the confidence. Build your house, minimize the wobble, and don't booger flick. It's the little things that you're not doing or the bad habits that you get that prevent you from making good, clean shots. Oh, oh, <laughs> miracles, miracles, look at that. The High Road with Keith Warren is presented by PyramidAir.com. Liberty Safe. Supercharged Scent Killer by Wildlife Research Center, 99%. Shadow Hunter Blinds. And OpticsPlanet.com. The High Road will be right back. We're going to have a good time. We're heading out to Gumlog Plantation. We're going to go see if we can uh, find a deer and a hog or two. This is Brad. 
This is Bland. And this is George. This is my second time to hunt deer at Gumlog, and the deer activity is slow. Brad did have a nice buck come in and give him an opportunity on day one, but it was almost dark and with camera light virtually gone, he decided to pass. Hopefully the buck will show back up when there's a few more minutes of light left to get some good footage. With the deer activity slow, we had to move on to something a little higher pace with Keith. Hogs. There's no shortage of hogs here. We're always seeing hogs here, and tonight we're gonna put the hurt daddy on them. Now that it's dark, it's time to break out the Pulsar thermal gear. These hogs literally have no idea that trouble is fixing to happen. This is a 308 Nemo. It's called the Executive Order, and uh, I have it topped off with a Pulsar thermal unit. Bland and I made our way out to the first setup, and the hogs, they were everywhere. I took aim and downed my first hog of the night. All right, well, here's what he looks like. I want to point something out. When, uh, when I shot him, I had no idea that he was a black and white hog, because with thermal, literally, you can't tell. But I knew that it was a boar. I assumed it was a boar because it was all by himself. You know, we saw a bunch of hogs down in here, but I wanted to find one kind of off by himself so I could get a good, clean, ethical shot and drop him right where he stood. Now that I know the rifle is dialed in, we're gonna really get busy with the Pulsar gear. The wind is perfect, and I get settled in to light them up. It was like 4th of July. There were fireworks and things flying everywhere. But most of the things that were flying were hogs going down hard on the ground. As we say here in the south, those hogs were taking dirt naps. They were, they were going down hard and they were running. And Keith was just rotating like he was on top of a tank, taking those hogs down all over the field. One of the things that was so amazing about watching this was, hey, when do I get to find Nemo? When do I get to shoot this thing? Save some hogs for me. Well, that wasn't a bad round right there. They got a red one right here, and then a black and brown one, and a big old black one here, and a black and white, and a black, and this one looks kind of like an Airedale with the coat on it. Look at that, that's black and white, and here's a brown and black one, but you know, the, the thing is when you're hunting hogs, it doesn't matter in a place like this that, uh, you know, they want hogs gone. They, uh, you know, they do a lot of damage. You can see this is a cotton field and the cotton field that they've had the cotton out of here for a long time, but the cotton seed is out here and the hogs are just tearing it up. Um, I've been coming out here now to gum log for over a year, and to be honest with you, if you're wondering what's gonna happen to all these guys, well, it's simple, they're gonna be eaten. Nothing goes to waste out here, and I'm a big believer in making sure that everything that we kill is consumed, and so all these hogs are gonna be consumed, and uh, more than likely, they're gonna be made into sausage. If you'd like more information on hunting opportunities with my friends at Gumlog Plantation, you can look them up online at gumlogplantation.com.